Hey there kids, Granny Gear here for Old Guy to Bike. I have a proposition for you. If you could have good quality eyewear for riding your bike, for doing your outdoor activities, just living life, if you could have those in a nice, stylish, fashionable, lots of choices, if you could do that for not a whole lot of money, would that interest you? Well, if it does, you might be a super fan. And you know the word in Italian for super fan? Well, that happens to be tifosi. Tifosi, like the glasses I'm wearing now. Well, I've been using several different kinds for my bike rides, for just living life. I'm here to talk about them in the end. Well, maybe I'll have you being a super fan too. Coming right up, stay tuned. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos at all, you have seen me in some pretty sharp looking glasses. These are the Defosis, more and likely. And you can see here some cuts from several videos. I've been wearing either the 20th anniversary rail race with the shiny chrome frames and the bluish lens, or the rail XC with the Phototech lens in a crystal clear frame. So let's begin with the 20th anniversary version of the rail race. That has been a really, really good pair of glasses for me to use. At first, I thought that big form factor frame, uh, the bold look tube was a little bit too much for me. That's almost a 60 millimeter deep uh, frame and lens. And I thought, mm, man, you know, there's big dogs. Do you know what? I really enjoyed that. I have enjoyed the coverage. It's, it is, uh, I can see why people wear the bigger glasses like this. Uh, very, very nice. For instance, like the sun doesn't tend to creep over the top of the rim because it's getting pretty close to my helmet. So that gap isn't there when you're leaning forward. Um, I haven't had any fogging issues with the vents. That's been good. Um, the wraparound protection has been good for my eyes. I don't get a lot of wind in behind them. Uh, yeah, that's been really, really good actually. And the lens is shatterproof polycarbonate lens. And uh, that, that, that's clarity for me, like I said, it's actually been quite good. I haven't noticed any distortion and I, uh, I see pretty well actually for an old guy. Um, what else? The hydrophilic rubber ear and nose pads, which are shapeable. Um, they also uh, don't tend to slip down when you sweat. And I have noticed actually that's true. It doesn't tend to creep down my nose. I really quite like that. Yep. These have been very, very good. I typically wear the arms outside the helmet straps. I think that works best, but uh, you, sometimes I do it either way and uh, either way is good, but outside I think works best. So next we had the Rail XC in a crystal clear frame with a Phototech lens. A Phototech is Tifosi's transitional lens. So depending upon your ambient light will depend upon how dark or how light the lens is. And I really enjoy having a pair of transitional glasses in each kit bag just for those in between light days maybe you're going to start out late in the day and ride into twilight etc totally valuable to have something like that as an option just be careful you don't get caught out in a bright sun with them because they don't no transitional lens will get as dark as a 100 percent sunglass you know what i'm saying and they also won't get as clear as a totally clear lens but for in between days pretty awesome to have these are a little bit less uh, deep in the frame and the lens by about six millimeters or so, six or seven. And uh, so that's a little slimmer look. These are 52 and a half millimeters approximately uh, tall, where the rail races were closer to 60. But good look. And uh, as, as the others, you have the hydrophilic rubber ear and nose pads that don't slip. They're also adjustable. Um, and this has a rimless shield. There is no rim at all around the lens. All right, let's move on to the Swix. These are these bright blue beauties a sh in a shadow blue with a polarized lens. I don't always use a polarized lens for cycling. Typically, I don't. I found that sometimes it makes it hard to read your computer or uh, it tends to kind of wash out contrast for like pot potholes and whatnot. But for just living life, it's nice. The glare reduction is good. Just makes for a more relaxed, I think, um, you know, day out in the sun. 
And these have been quite good. Yes, they are bold. I agree. They're kind of big. They're kind of bright. They're kind of blue. And I'm loving them anyway. Also, these have the hydrophilic nose pads, so I haven't found them slipping around in the hot days. Um, yeah, what's not the love? They've been actually really, really good for me, and you'll see these in the videos. For instance, um, you know, talking about stylish, when your glasses match the chair you're sitting in, <laughs> baby, you've made it. So what's not to like about these Tifosi sunglasses I've been wearing? Honestly, I can't think of a thing. I think they look good on me. The functions have been excellent, clarity, etc. And you know what? Here's the thing. They do not cost a whole lot of money. Now these days, cycling accessories and outdoor accessories, whew, man, that has been escalating rapidly, much more than my paycheck. So I would say that uh, if you can get a good deal on a good product like this, it's a total win. And you know, I'm not saying these are the ultimate glasses. If you spend two to three times more, are they better in some way? Possibly, I'm no expert in that field. However, I doubt they're two or three times better. And you know, when you see those big sponsors, uh, trucks and the sponsored athletes with a brand's name on it, somebody's paying for that and it's the consumer. Just saying. All right, you guys take care. I hope you have a great time and get out on your bikes. And uh, I have a little quick editorial at the end of this talking about growing old and growing bold. If you want to stick around for that, be my guest. All right. Coming right up. Now a few thoughts on growing old and growing bold. You know, when I first saw the uh, 20th anniversary glasses from Tifosi, you know, the ones with the chrome frames and the big blue lenses, I thought, oh, I don't know. That's a little much for this old guy, I think, really? And then I put them on, I went for a ride. First, they were great to ride in. And then I looked at myself and the videos and in the mirror and I thought, you know what? I kind of like me in those. I started wearing them. Now, when these showed up, Mrs. Granny Gear, she took a look at it, one look at them and she said, uh, you're not gonna wear those, are you? Those look like they belong in a circus. Well, that was enough for me. I've been wearing them ever since. You know what? I love these glasses. Circus or not. And it got me thinking about as you get old, you really kind of need to do things that make you happy. Not stupid things or crazy things. But man, if you want to dye your hair to match your glasses, just go for it. Dye whatever hair you got left. Well, we don't have to be boring as we get old. I mean, we're already cyclists. We're riding around in our underwear with bright jerseys and matching socks. People are already wondering if we're crazy. If you end up with a bright blue pair of glasses like me and your wife says something disparaging or your husband says, you're not gonna wear those, are you? All I can say is put them on, be proud, and welcome to my circus. You guys take care. Go ride your bike. Granny Gear out, old guy in a bike.